Hey guys, so I just loaded AOKP with Android version 4.3.1 on my Samsung Galaxy S4 here. Um, if you have any other version, um, you know, i9505, i337, i337M, and so on, uh, just check your original um, Android development sections on XDA for your particular device. I'm sure you'll have one waiting for you. Um, so let's go ahead and check this out. Now, um, I, for one, am not the hugest fan of AOKP. Nothing against the developers, nothing against the ROM. It's just not my cup of tea. Uh, AOSP ROMs that I prefer, Paranoid Android, Cyanogen Mod. Um, I don't know. Anyways, uh, so in here, everything's going to be the same um, as far as AOSP is concerned, but, you know, every ROM, uh, custom AOSP ROM, Paranoid Android, and so on, they all have a section in the settings menu that is specific for the actual ROM customization itself. Here's AOKP's ROM control, of course, device options and themes. Uh, let's start out with device options because obviously that's specific to your device. Everyone's different. HTC will have a different amount of settings in here as well. Uh, starting out with screen, so you've got your um, CABC that you can enable or disable. Uh, enable content adaptive backlight control um, your different scenarios so you got your uh, mdnie scenarios and your mdnie modes Ugh. Um, outdoor mode that's something that i actually i went outside and it doesn't look any different <laughs> I don't know if it's just me or maybe they haven't implemented the actual changes yet. If you guys uh, love AOKP and you know exactly what this does, please let me know in the comments below because I have no clue what changes that makes. Uh, of course, you can do negative mode. I, I don't know. I don't know one person who actually uses negative mode. I don't know one person. Um, screen color temperatures. So you got uh, cold, cool, normal, warm, and hot, depending on your preference, of course. Uh, moving on to sensors, calibrate, blah, 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 boring. Haptic feedback, vibrator intensity. Mm. Uh, sound, extra gain in voice calls and USB dock, uh, or used dock USB audio. So, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Whoop. Um, let's move into ROM control now. So they got tons of options in here. And of course, AOKP has been known for a very long time to have a shitload of options in their ROM. So uh, starting out with general UI, um, this is an option I kind of like. Dark AOKP. So you notice before, um, it was the AOSP style, um, the, the colors basically of AOSP settings. And now it's just all black, all black and all white, which I really dig. Uh, we also have transparency settings, uh, custom boot animations or disable boot animations. So you can adjust your stuff there really easily. Of course, custom carrier layer tables, notification background, which is like, you know, put your own picture in there, uh, show notification count, vibrate on expand, status bar, brightness slider, and you can change the brightness instead of having to pull this down, um, hide status bar, uh, that's usually useful for if you're going to be like making some sort of an elaborate theme, um, nav bar, so you've got different UI modes, uh, if I was to go with this one here, you'll notice it, give it a moment and there you go. So we've got some different, um, nav bars down there. Uh, you can turn the CRT screen on or off when you, you know, this little effect there, you guys are more than aware of that. And of course you've got, um, two different options in there, vertical and horizontal. I actually prefer horizontal, uh, enable kill all button in the, um, recents, uh, as well as the Google now button. Um, and I don't know where the heck that went. Where is it? Recents RAM bar. So there it is. So 739 megabytes used with this many applications open and 1.1 gigs free. Pretty good there. Of course, we've got our kill all button, like I mentioned before, and direct access to Google now. Um, moving on from there, we've got the hardware back to kill. So press and hold your um, back button and that'll kill your applications for you, which I always really appreciate in, um, in ROMs. Um, they've kind of consolidated again. I don't know if this is new uh, to this build or it's uh, an old, uh, you know, for previous builds, but they've consolidated all these things so you can dick around with all these different awesome options in here. Um, and then, of course, you've got all of your uh, lock ring, uh, lock screen ring um, app shortcuts options right there as well, which I think is cool. Uh, moving on from there, power menu. So basically, when you press and hold the power button, you've got all these cool options in here. Pretty nifty. Torch, yada, yada, yada. Um, navigation bar, yet again, I'm not even going to touch base on that. But if you want to, if you really want to, then you can customize it to your heart's content. Uh, navigation ring as well. 
change different targets, blah, blah, blah. Ribbons, this is something I would love for you guys to explain to me in the comments below what the hell a ribbon is. I don't know. I don't know. I prefer actually um, stock custom ROMs, um, like the Samsung firmware custom ROMs. Um, so I don't really usually play with AOSP-based ROMs anymore. So maybe that's something new. I don't know. Explain to me in the comments below and you'll get uh, a karma point. Um, some different toggles in your status bar so we can muck around with all this stuff in there. Uh, if you wanted to, we can go ahead to toggle style and go to traditional and wait for it wait for it bam so there it is up across the top there oop can't scroll but anyways those options are there and that's cool i like that they have that but i do prefer the tiles um vibrate on toggle click uh, toggles per row and uh and enable fast toggle and a whole bunch of other options in here if you start enabling different things and you really 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 want to get super customizable customizable customized yeah uh battery so you can change different things, um, the colors and the location of the battery icon, same thing with the clock and same thing with the signal. Pretty standard um, Android customization stuff there. Uh, animations, um, so in here you can choose the different types of animations for when um, activities like you launch an application. So you've got default, fade, slide in right, left, uh, right with no fade, left with no fade, slide in bottom, in top, translucent, that's where it is, translucent, Yuck, you guys should just keep it consistent and call it transparent, um, grow in top center, bottom left and right, if we wanted, <laughs> uh, LED, of course, this is pretty standard across a lot of uh, custom AOSP based ROMs, you can customize the color of your um, LED light or your notification light based on corresponding with the applications that you want it to. So if you want Gmail to be red, you can have it red. If you want SMS to be white, you can have it white. So I've, I've always liked that. Um, some different sound uh, options in here as well. You can enable the volume panel, ascending ringtones, less frequent notifications, headphones and plugged in action, Bluetooth A2DP connected action, phone call silence and face down audio mode and a couple of other boring options. Uh, moving on from there, we've got vibrations. So you can record your own vibration uh, patterns if you like. And we've got installer, uh, enable persistence, persist density, and persist hosts. And that's it. That's all there is to it in AOKP. Um, a favorite ROM to a lot of people. Uh, most of the time, really, really stable. Always been great on battery life. Though that said, battery life does vary from person to person depending on your usage and the kernel that you're using, really. Um, anyways, that's it though, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this look at uh, AOKP Android 4.3.1, the uh, 18th of October nightly build. Um, but that's it for this one. Thank you as always for watching. If you liked the video, click the likes button. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> okay, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.